the first day we got here, we saw a bunch of Trekkies, I guess. So. Are you a fan of the show? Um, I want to say I'm a fan. I remember my dad used to watch it, so it's kind of one of those things. If you wanted to watch TV, you were watching what he was watching. So I was pretty young at the time, though. I think it, the one I think of, I think it came out right when I was about four or five years old. The, I don't know, the, the bald-headed guy. I don't know his name. <laughs> Um, actually, this is pretty tame compared to what we saw in San Jose. There was a anime con. Uh, I don't know. It's like a comic con. Yeah, was, and there was some. Yeah, so that was that one was a little more bizarre. That good omen then. You won that series, and then you got another weird thing. We'll take it. We'll take it any which way we can get. <laughs> Uh, seriously, I mean, the game's going to start at four here in a little while. I mean, just, I guess, uh, again, touch on how important it is going to be for you guys to, to get off to a good start in this one and you know, maybe get that first ball in there. Uh, I think coming, I mean, four o'clock game, that's something different for probably for both teams and um, playing in this building in the regular season. I like, will probably be pretty electric in there tonight. And um, for us, it's no pregame skate. We've had a couple of days off. Um, so we're well rested, and um, I think early on it's about doing the simple things really, really well because they have their home crowd behind them, and we'll be amped up. And it's a matter of uh, you know sustaining uh, our game plan. How important were those two couple of days off resting? Is that key? Uh, yeah, I think it's huge. Um, probably more so from a mental part. I mean, you get into this time of year, and every game is so important. There's the stress level and the the intensity of every game, it's so much different than a regular season where you can play four games in, you know, seven days and you're all right because it's a regular season game here. It's, I mean, when you're not playing, you're thinking about it and that can wear on you. So you get a couple of days where you go home and you don't come to the rink and you don't think about hockey for one or two days. It really refreshes your mind. I think it's more important from a mental standpoint for, for most guys. Do you get time to kind of take stock of what you guys have done again this year and what you want to do? Obviously, one more series away from getting back to the Stanley Cup final again and how hard that is to do it. Uh, we haven't, I mean, when you, it was kind of like what we did last year. We didn't really, you don't really think about what you do until you're done with it and you have a time to really sit back and reflect on it. So, um, you know, I think uh, we understand we've gotten this far for a reason. It's more trying to stay in that mind frame of what we needed to do to win. Do you feel like the, uh, the gamesmanship that always goes on in these series has already kind of begun a little bit through the media and talking and stuff? I don't. I don't read the media, so there's there a lot of people. And yesterday and stuff. People pump you up or tear you down, depending on which way they want to go. So I think a lot of guys in here. I mean, we don't really pay attention to what what uh, the media is saying, what their team's saying. It's it's more about what we need to do in our room. If, if Justin can't go today, um, I mean, is that, I mean, obviously if he can, it'd be a huge boost for you, but uh, if he can't, because I've already had a time to play without him, right? I mean, is that kind of um, feeling? Yeah, Stoli, I mean, he's a huge, you look at our playoff percentage, or our face-off percentage last series, it's down quite a bit. I mean, yeah. He's a big part of that. I mean, I think, I don't, I think we got above 50% in one game. Um, but he also provides a lot of vocal leadership and um, you know, he's traveling with us, and that, that makes a big difference. Um, early on in the San Jose series, obviously, he wasn't going to be traveling, and um, he's one of those guys that can even have a presence when he's not playing um, in the morning meals and talking to guys. And um, So he still has an effect on our team if he's not in the lineup, but it would be huge for us to, you know, from an X's and O standpoint, we're strong up the middle. Uh, a lot of that's because he's in the three spot. When you were a teammate of uh, Patrick Kane in the Olympics, I mean, that was three years ago, and neither team had won a Stanley Cup at that point. But what were your impressions of skating with him, <clears throat> of just being a teammate, being in the locker room with him in key games? Um, you know, he's, he was a young guy. He still is a young guy. Um, I played with him for the, probably the second half of that tournament. And, uh, he's pretty um, relaxed regardless of the situation, and I think he... He's one of those guys who likes playing in the important games, um, and that's I mean that's probably what I took away from from the Olympics playing with him is I didn't really know him well even though he was from Buffalo and uh, we just probably missed each other by the uh, age gap a little bit and but he's seems regardless of the situation he's a pretty laid back kid. 
You were 0 for San Jose. You're going to have to win one here to win the series. What's going to be different on the road for the team? One, we got to score more than one goal. Um, I mean, you look at all the games on the road this year we've lost, is we've only scored one goal. I mean, and, and to do that, it's it starts in our own end. I mean, we spent way too much time, excuse me, in, in our own end against San Jose, and it, it's a hard way to play when you're you're defending them and using all your energy on the defensive side. And we got to be in and out of our try to be in and out um, of our zone quicker, and that will lead to more offense.